Joining me now from Parliament House in Canberra is Senator Perrin Davey, the Deputy Nationals Leader. Thanks for joining us, uh, Perrin. Uh, this uh, is a promise that Labor cannot keep, surely. They're going to reduce our prices now by installing more transmission and more renewables. Well, and this is the key thing. You hit the nail on the head. 97 times they made that very specific promise, $275. That's their number. They kept repeating it since the election. Crickets. Absolute silence. And they now just say, we're going to introduce our legislated um, climate reduction ca uh, cap our emissions reduction cap, they're going to legislate that, and boom, our power prices are going to go down. Yeah. I'd like to know how. Well, We've it's so illogical. It's so illogical. Renewables. So, sorry to cut you off. I just want to show you yeah. a little bit of Anthony Albanese in Parliament because it's just so illogical. It's like a, a half the story, if that. Have a look. If you have a cheaper form of energy, which renewables are, than fossil fuel energy at the moment, then, then you will get right. lower for power prices. Man, it just does my head in. We all know that we've had these renewables and power <laughs> prices are going up because you put the renewables in and, yeah, when the wind's blowing, there's cheap power or the sun's shining, but you have to have some way to store it. Plus, you still have to have your gas-fired or coal-fired power still there to back it up when it's not there. Plus, you have all the additional transmission infrastructure to connect the renewables. What don't they get about the fact that this is going to continue to drive up prices? Look, and it's so true. We've had increasing adoption of renewables over a decade now. Under our government, we saw the highest uptake of renewables, but power prices are still up. We've got coal-fired power stations bringing forward their closures and power prices keep going up. So you can't tell me that this is the silver bullet that's going to reduce our power prices. We really need to look at cause and effect, and this government has no plan to address the cost of living pressures across the board, let alone to deliver on their pre-election commitment to drop power prices by $275. That's their number, that's what we're going to hold them to account for, and we need to see them actually deliver on that because that's what they told the people they would do. All right, if they do do that... Gold I don't know. promise. It was a roll gold promise, but if you're going to hold them to count on that, as you should, you should also be able to say that if they do that, if on average they can reduce power prices by $275 a year by the end of their first term, then they will have achieved their, uh, their target and deserve to be re-elected? Well, I would say... It, what else have they also delivered? So if they do achieve that $275 drop in power prices, is our power reliable? Or are we going to have more brownouts and blackouts due to the failure to back up intermittent renewable power sources? Uh, and we're still waiting for um, Mr Albanese to accept David Littleproud's invitation to have an energy summit so that we can talk about how we are going to power our nation in the future and look at Things like nuclear, uh, things like offshore gas exploration, offshore wind. You know, there is a whole raft of technologies, carbon capture and storage, that we still need to talk about. We Indeed. can't limit ourselves to onshore wind and solar. Indeed. Anthony Albanese was mocking nuclear in Parliament today. I'll show, I'll show, uh, uh, show that to our viewers later in the program. Thanks for joining us, Senator. My pleasure. Good to be here, Chris. Senator Perrin Davey there, who's the Deputy Na Nationals Leader. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. One way you get costs down is we have so many blackouts, you don't actually get to pay for all the electricity you need. That doesn't count. That doesn't count as meeting the promise. If everyone gets reliable power and $275 less, then Labor will have delivered their promise. I say they've got Buckley's. But we will live and learn, hey?